Okay, thank you so much for the kind words. Let's start maybe. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the products. These are maybe not very surprising ones because the formulas are well loved and understood, but these are quite surprising color palettes. So we have our uh, basket here. I'm going to switch to this little thing behind me so you can look from above to see everything. And I'm very, very glad to see you all. I would love to share my um, new products with you so you will see why I am so excited. It's not just the Greek sun, no, I'm excited because this is really good stuff. Okay. So guys, I have to show you uh, some of the really cool things. We've got Opal Magic Paints, we've got Pebbles, and we've got Rust Paste in new uh, fresh edition which is called fantasy texture fantasy uh, which is absolutely mind-blowing so let's start with uh, start with opal magic paints some of you uh, you tr you tried opal magic so you know how special they are they are in fact paints they have two colors in them so this time with this release I made sure the first color for example here's pink blue right so the pink is the color you see on white the blue is the color you can see on black. This is iridescent color. It has absolutely gorgeous palette, uh, palette of colors because we have eight amazing tones and they change depending on the surface. So we've got pink blue, we've got uh, blue violet, we've got um, coral teal, we've got yellow pink <laughs> and we've got <laughs> this is the color that it's violet green but i don't have the right packaging that's why it looks funny and then we've got teal pink how exciting this is then we've got a uh, blue green super combination and finally this color is one of my favorites you have to have a look teal blue so the opposite combination how they look i'll try to fit them here how they look once you start using them i've got my journal here and i've got uh, black and white this is of course black gesso on one of the sides so you can easily see how the colors work how they change and i made some samples so you can see how they work on the top of the project I'm going to show you um, uh, quickly how the uh, colors look like in real life if you have any questions Sharon is here to help and of course we also have uh, of chance after the uh, the show so I can uh, answer your questions if you uh, if you'd like to ask about something so let's try so the blue green this is the color that we should see more as a blue. Uh huh. This is a very old brush, I guess. Nope. More like a blue color here, changing into green. Uh, it would be easier if I didn't take that much water. That was already not the best idea. Okay. Yep. So this is blue green. Okay. You can see hopefully now. I think it's must have for some people watching this show. Sue. <laughs> Next one we are looking at is going to be super exciting tone. This is going to be teal pink. This is going to be this warm tone of pink, which is very similar to coral color. I think you will like it. Look at that. Right? makes sense i think it really does make sense to me i really love this combination uh, then let's try with this violet color change it into lovely green right another magical combination violet green So I will show you a bit closer. Magical, magical, just amazing. Opal Magics. 
And now somebody wanted to see pink. Here's the pink. Okay, thank you, my assistant is here. This is pink going into blue. So this is something, again, very cool when you look at this. Electric blue color. This is the pink blue. I think really lovely combination. Because of the uh, blue iridescent mica, this pink is very cool. Almost like this uh, sorbet uh, color. So I think it would be perfect. Especially we have the color which is uh, coral teal, which is something with, uh, that is going to be like warmer tone of pink going into a bit of orange. So just to compare these two, look at that, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is the difference in the color. And then look at this green. Right? Very cool combination. I was trying to think which colors were missing in the first color palette. We had very pastel colors. So I was trying to come up with the combinations that would be uh, filling these gaps and they would be still very exciting. We have three colors to go. Let's go with the really beautiful shade of teal. This teal is turning into blue. So it is going to give you teal color on white and beautiful blue color on a black or any other dark surface. Sorry, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. I would say this is just perfect. It's like peacock. Peacock bluish greenish color. You know, if you can just imagine the peacock's feather, that would be this color. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. I should not be so excited, you know, it's my product. I remember that I was working on it, but once they come back, once they are sent back as, you know, real packaged uh, jars, not just the samples I have, they are almost like gift for Christmas because I can rediscover them again. Uh, yeah, so let's go to the blue pink. Well, basically this pink is more like violet. It's not like the warm one. So this is, sorry, blue violet, my mistake. Blue, I'm just mentioning that. Maybe just a bit gorgeous, I think. I think. And the last one, yellow. We didn't have a good yellow color at all, so I was thinking we should do nice warm yellow. And this one has a bit of pink in it. So again, this coral pink shade that you can use on so many projects. Just look at this. Okay, I will try to show you all together now. This is the new Opal Magic color palette. And I think we are covering a lot of needs because first of all, the colors are now much more vibrant. The first color palette, this was uh, very pale, very elegant, very into shabby chic. This one is absolutely into the summer tones, perfect for all these color palettes when you are inspired by the uh, fruit, ocean, um, jewels, anything that you really would like to you uh, put into your more colorful project. They are eight colors, you can see them here. And I will show you uh, what else you can, uh, you know, how they look on the iron project. It's very easy to use them. They are acrylic paints. So as any acrylic, uh, when they are wet, they're reacting with water. So we can easily take your water spray and make them, make them float or you can use them with a small brush like this, almost to create like watercolor effects, but they're completely permanent after drying. So you can use them for jelly plate printing. You can use them for painting regularly, painting your projects. You can use them even for, for stamping with the, especially like the cling or rubber stamps. You can use them for splattering. You can use them for any other thing that you would like to do. And uh, this is the new eight colors, new color palette. So again, it is uh, going to be blue-green. Then we have 
uh, color which is teal, pink, then there is violet green, pink, blue, uh, coral green, the turquoise or teal, uh, blue, then we have blue, violet and yellow, pink. These are new eight colors of the Opal Magics. Let me show you them a little bit maybe on the project. Uh, I repainted this tag white so I can just show you what you can do with them. This is uh, one of the projects I made for you during Mixed Media Minutes. And I have two, so why not painting one, the one and just adding some colors? So let's vote for the best color palette here. Maybe let's go with this amazing peacock combination. So this teal blue and let's add hmm, hmm, a bit of this and a bit of this. OK, so you can use them just for full repainting. Why not? Right. This is going to be the most classical way. Uh, and let's say I'm starting with a tiny bit of the green on my brush and you can just add nice highlights to your project. And of course, if you're going to put just a little bit of your colors, they're going to blend nicely without any problem on your project. It is just like any other acrylic paint. Very simple. This is like the basic uh, basic solution. Then of course you can blend them directly on your project, right? If you're adding wet into wet, the colors will change a little bit. So it is a really really cool effect if you're adding different shades in different places. You can highlight for example the butterfly with pink and this one with pink and then you come back and you add other colors wherever you like. What I was showing you with the sparks and other acrylic paints, you can also use them with a lot of water. So if you have a sprayer, you can just dab your colors more or less in the places you would like to have them. And you can be a little bit more generous now and you, could, you can just let them float. This is another very simple but very rewarding technique. Let's see what happens, right? And because the colors are quite rich, we can get really nice visible effects, almost like watercolors, and they're going to be nice and shiny. Yeah, very simple and so, so pretty. These are just three colors and it is amazing how they catch the light. Here we have just daylight and we've got three colors of the Opal Magics used. Just to compare, let's put them on something that is going to be <laughs> uh, black. The same colors, I'll put them on the side so you can see, I was not joking really, they are changing the color palette. So I was using the teal, so this is going to turn into more bluish color. If you put quite a lot, of course, this teal may be a little bit visible. But if you're going to be light handed, you're going to have really beautiful electric blue effects. Then let's take this pink. This pink is going to be another shade of blue. You can see this pink is turning into blue for us. And the more of the water and drying, the less of the pink you're going to see. And finally, this blue is changing into violet, right? So you can see the same color palette. Of course, they're wet, but you can see the same, sorry, the same three colors looking so differently on the surface. Depending what you like more, you can go for the dramatic black look, which is my favorite. I have to tell you, I really love the dramatic look. Or you can go for a more delicate pastel effect on uh, the stack. So depending on your surface, you can just get the best effects using Opal Magic Paints. They are possible to use for almost anything. So if you are a journaler or a scrapbooker or mixed media artist, they are all for you. They are great quality, um, the same formula acrylic paints as we had before, the same vendor, the same uh, 
liquid uh, version very easy to uh, very easy to spread with your brush very creamy easy to blend but also what is important for the people who are complaining about the dry climate problem of course we close the jars once we could finish painting because we don't want any air to get in and then if it's easier for you but because it is store them upside down so there will be even less air getting into your jars so that helps I will just dry it a little bit with the heat gun for you so you can see the colors a bit better okay this is of course not completely dry but you can have the idea how it is um, in real life so I could uh, uh, explain of course more about the color palettes and combinations which are nice but I'm sure you can trust your instinct and if you need any extra inspiration we've started posting projects with Opal Magic Paints there's also a tutorial done by my design team member Sanda uh, um, it was beautiful big tag painted with Opal Magic colors it was posted last week on my finabar.com website so please check it out and please uh, check Instagram accounts, so which is Finavar Studio and Prima Marketing and Finavar. We are posting the projects, including the new products already, so you can see how they look in real life, how they uh, may, uh, how they can be used, and they're really really beautiful. I just came back from the vacation, as you know, so I'm going to start working with them in the next days as well. So you will see more of the Opal Magic paints in my project. This is the black, this is the white, so something for everyone. What I keep telling people, when you get the Opal Magics, you're getting two paints in one jar. So I think it's absolutely awesome deal, because for the price of one paint, you have two. So let's go to the second group of products. Um, I've got really, really uh, a thing when it comes to embellishments and I really like pebbles so I was thinking we should add a little bit more pebbles to the line my art pebbles oh, uh, the ones that were clear they were best sellers over and over and I was thinking okay it's time to add a little bit more so we have three sets of pebbles the one is called sugar the sugar sugar so sugar they're absolutely cute sugary little pebbles pebbles they come in, in different color variations and sizes and they catch the light like this <sighs> and if you can still breathe I would be surprised because I am having short breath right now luck at this it's absolutely luscious it is of course gorgeous texture as well so if you want to repaint them you can so it would be no problem but they have the most amazing shades there will be teals browns pinks and some iridescent whites so they come in different sizes I'm trying to show you maybe hmm okay okay you can see the different sizes there's a lot of them in one package so you are getting a great deal of the pebbles when you are getting this uh, little uh, container it is uh, called melange art, art pebbles sugar and then next ones uh, more classical the ones which are similar to diamond or crystal cut and they also come in different sizes perfect for any kind of project because they are so versatile you can again have them ah, in different sizes and you can easily adapt uh, them if you would like to repaint them you can use acrylic paints you can use alcohol inks you can use uh, gesso first and then sprinkle your favorite colors on the top they are going to work perfectly and well I'm sure you know what to do with pebbles because they are just perfect little gems to put on anything but as I said before please watch my Instagram accounts and watch uh, Facebook uh, pages and blog to see a lot of inspiration because my design team members and Prima design team members are working on them now so you will see a lot of great ways of using these they may be uh, part of the focal point on your project and they may be just an accent around if you will look at the projects with pebbles I made before they are perfect for anything 
the last set is called vintage right so these are really pretty dimensional flat back pebbles in vintage colors they've got shades of uh, transparent pearl gold more like honey amber colors absolutely gorgeous again coming in uh, three four sizes in one package so in a small container you are getting a lot of goodness absolutely beautiful so we've got crystal we've got vintage and we've got sugar pebbles and these are going to be like my must-have embellishments for the next uh, couple of months i'm sure because they are just perfect and i was waiting for quite a long time to get them so this is the uh, release of the art pebbles so they are all flat back and they are all acrylic and uh, they are um, plastic and acrylic so there will be uh, no heavy uh, problem like no heaviness on your project you can easily uh, add them even to the small card or tag so they are just perfect for these kinds of um, uses and finally the set of products which was probably uh, causing the most excitement the pastes we have four sets of paste and i was working on creating the um, color formulas that are going to be inspiring for people we are going beyond the rust we are going beyond the patina and the natural colors we are going into those crazy fairy tale chipped paint inspired combinations they are absolutely gorgeous and i will just uh, show you how you can use them and what color combination combinations we have they are probably my favorite uh, product in a long time and if you used my rust paste and patina paste you know the formula already they are designer product something between the texture paste and the paint so you can work with water you can work with dabbing brushes and they are just waiting for you so let's have a look at the content of the boxes there are four colors the first is called anemone and coral and there are three colors inside all of them have the same formula it is coarse a uh, colorful paste so look at the packaging this is uh, the full set you are buying set of three colors in one box they are like this just perfect and beautiful 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 look at this dusty rose color it is gorgeous what you can do with that well i was creating sample for the packaging so you can imagine i had to create something in advance and here it is this is a uh, effect I created with uh, the anemone and coral combination. So if you look, have a closer look, they are coarse, right? And then they have a very rich color palette. Absolutely beautiful. This is the teal color you can see I used mostly as a background. And then here you can see parts of this dusty rose. And finally, this color is turning a little bit uh, into more like red color palette this is the animal and color uh, texture fantasy rust paste uh, what i would like to remind to all of you if you look at them in the jars remember they're going to turn a little bit darker after drying so you know give them a chance if this is maybe not your favorite color remember it is going to be get more intense after drying they are not sold as individual colors they're only sold as sets of three like all the other pastes we have so you're going to have the set of three in one box this is the packaging that you are getting okay let's have a look at the set number two and uh, this is a little bit different i was trying to imitate the look of old walls you know the uh, you can imagine the old houses painted and the paint is peeling so we've got color which is uh, similar to this like you know this old white color it is uh, creamy more like yellowish white then we've got this beautiful shade of gray gray is always perfect uh, basic color and then the third one is greenish uh, color that is adding perfect uh, touches to these two so old walls 
and this is you can see how it is this is the sample i created for the packaging you can see i was trying to create the look of the really old um stone wall painted many times with some uh, paint chipping off and some splatters so these three colors are going to give you effect just like that and you can create a lot of textures or you can just lay, layer them as flat as possible using old brushes it's up to you these products are partly uh, water-based so remember if they're getting thicker if you will notice they're getting thicker before closing put this plastic lid back right you can add some water inside right this is also important close it as tightly as you can i know there were some people who were uh, w cons you know considering that mm, this dries a little bit too fast. We are uh, working on the extra lid that goes into the uh, jars as well. So we are working on the pro uh, product um, improvement for you as well. So please don't worry, they are going to work for you. Next color. This is really color uh, that I was inspired with, Junkyard Treasures. That is like, uh, probably, if you can imagine the rusty blue car, that has some extra paint chips coming off. Like, ah. So we've got purple, we've got um, blue, and we've got this rusty burn, burn sienna color. They are absolutely gorgeous and they are going to give you effects like this. You can go so many directions using these. You can use one color as a starter and then add highlights of the other two, or you can pick all of them and apply them in an even way, or you can just use two of them together, right? In any combination, they will always work. This is the, this is the beauty of the set. They will always work nicely if you have them together. Yeah, this is exactly what you can get with this junkyard treasures mm -hmm. and then finally the last set are probably my favorite it's called northern lights and it has teal and purple and this beautiful shade of um, delicate pale blue oh my god which is absolutely inspiring and so very delicate look at this this is not her light set and is going to be probably the most exciting set uh, for me in the next days. And if you look at the packaging, this is the sample I created. And these are probably the most gorgeous colors. <laughs> I probably should not be that excited, but hey, it is just wow. <laughs> so. Uh, all of these sets, they can be easily adapted to work together. If you want to put these two together, that will work nicely as well. Or these ones, right? Going nicely together. So if you will have more than one, you still have great combination of colors. So don't be shy. Don't stop yourself too early. If you feel that you, this is something that you like to do, this is going to be a really hot product in the next uh, weeks because I've seen what my design team people is uh, they're doing and they are working hard on providing you some nice inspiration. So you may ask how to apply it. I started with a bit of the uh, piece of wood and I glued some elements on and I can just show you quickly how you can apply the rust paste. So let's let's maybe work with the animal and coral color just to give you some idea. And what you really need is <laughs> a big brush, like a dabbing brush to uh, put it uh, in the different parts of your project. And uh, maybe for smaller touches, the oldest and the worst brush you can find in your stash. That is also helping a lot. So these are going to be our paste. So you can see this is coarse 
finish, which means they are a little bit like sandy effects, right? That is the way to create the texture in your project. And of course, the more layer you put, the thicker it's going to get. Yeah. So now you can start with any color. So I'm going to dab, let's say this one. And carelessly, I'm dabbing that in different parts of the project. This is like the first stage. So you have to forget about perfection. You just add some color to have nice effects something to work with you are going to put two layers minimum to get the uh, coverage and effects you like so you don't have to stress okay so i'm just using one of my dubbing brushes for that <laughs> and let's get the second one maybe and add some pink and when they are wet they are going to blend nicely if you want them to blend so let's have a look here. If you want to go into the smith tones, no problem. Very easily, just by rubbing, you can create this really cool look. So this is like the beginning part of the project. Now we can add a tiny bit of the red here and there. It's like rusty. So this is the step when you get familiar with the, take, with the colors, you try to think what you are going to do now. You can rub a little bit. You can go and add more of the color you like the most. Right? Very quickly you are getting effect. And before you are going to go to the next step, you should just dry it to let it uh, get you know, permanent and so much easier to add next layers uh, to the top. So instead of blending, like I'm blending with my finger now, you're going to put next layers and you will be able to work with water to create some drips or splatters. Okay, so we have stage like this. And after this, you can, for example, now play with the extra effects. For example, with drips. I'm just adding color that I would like to drip on my teal background and I water it so it's going to create really cool dripping effect let's do that with the red on the other side mm -hmm. You can see these, once you will dry them like that, they are going to stay like that. So if you like these effects, just keep it. Let's add a bit of the steel as well. And drip it. And now Let's create a bit of rusty look in the middle. I'm just adding a bit of this red color and I let it flow down. It's very simple, but so very rewarding. You can see they're getting permanent and matte after drying. Of course, here they still need some drying, but once you have the uh, dry matte surface, you can easily work on the top. For example, if you think that you lost too much color, in some places you can just brush it on. Let's say I would like to brush a bit of this teal back on here, almost like paint, right? No problem. Or you can play with a lot of layers and add and add more but my best advice would be putting a layer drying it putting another one and drying so you can build really high dimension and 
you can really use the combination of the colors which speaks to your heart. You don't have to follow the idea that was shown on the packaging. It was just my way of <laughs> trying to inspire you to explain how they're going to work. And it is very easy to use. You don't have to uh, wait for any magic to happen. They are just going to work like uh, texture paints, basically. And they're going to provide a lot of beautiful color combinations. If you like splatters, you can water down the color you would like to splatter a little bit. So let's say I'm going to do it here. And then add nice finishing touches as well. You can even water it down again so it creates almost like circles of color. So that will be the way how uh, of uh, applying your uh, new texture fantasy rust paste. Just to show you something more, maybe just in case if you'd like to see more of the color combinations, uh, we can try to play with the Northern Light set. It's absolutely uh, fun and very very easy to use. If you have any questions, please let me know. But you can see we are really having a lot of fun just by adding these colors and nice compositions. And then I'm sure you're going to find your favorite color palette because they are absolutely gorgeous. They are going to be available in the stores basically, I think, next week because Prima is shipping them to the stores now. So uh, if you have your local store that would carry Prima brand, you can ask them to uh, bring these for you and I'm sure they will be very happy to do it. So you don't have to um, look online, but if you can't, I'm sure there will be online stores that will be carrying these items as well. There are always many places where you can buy it. Mm -hmm. Yes, there, there will be, really, they will be on the shelves any moment now which is super exciting. Look at that. It is really so easy that I am thinking like, what can be better to create lovely texture effects on almost anything? Uh, if you're wondering what will be the best surface to apply these products, of course, something of the smart finish. So, it's better to apply on the uh, elements that are covered with gesso. It may be any color of gesso. It doesn't have to be uh, black, of course. I'm having the black one here, but you can easily go on white or clear gesso. So if you, for example, planning to work on the bottle, bottle like on a glass, uh, or you would like to go on um, metal, especially not uh, rusty one, but the one that is galvanized, please put gesso first, and then they're going to stick nicely. So you can see, it's super simple. Maybe a tiny bit more of the, the teal color here, and purple. And again, I'm using my best tool ever, my finger. <laughs> it really helps with everything. Highlighting some of the details and drying before I will do any other touches to it. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's very, very simple. And really you could see, I was just using the dabbing brush and if you would like to make more detailed effect, I really recommend to use old brush that you don't like anymore. Yeah, as I told you, it turns a little bit darker. So now I'm going to 
make some nice splatters and drips. Because drips are probably the most exciting part. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely. I just love how covering this also is. Look, this pale blue color, this one, it is so strong that you can drip that on the darker surface. However, remember, it's always important to dry the bottom layer first. So it works very similar to acrylic paint. Once it is uh, dry, it is permanent. That's why I keep telling you, please remember about closing your jars and storing them upside down also helps. And if you live in a very dry climate and you know there may be a problem, you can even put a piece of the plastic wrap under the jar. Some people also use glycerin with the great results. So if you think they are small jars, you will realize quickly this is quite a lot of paste because in each jar there's almost two ounces, so it's like uh, six ounces of paint, of paste in one package. So it's a lot of uh, product to have fun with, so don't be shy. Just look at the inspirations and try to play. It's not so complicated, it's much easier than people imagine. You could see how quickly I got the results. Drying it makes it beautifully matte. So this is the new uh, rust paste, which is called Texture Fantasy. And it comes in four, uh, four different color sets. So anemone and coral, which I used on this, inspired by water apparently. Then Northern Lights, which I used here. Then Junkyard Treasures, which I really love because of this combination of purple and strong blue. And finally, very classic Batrek. This is all time favorite. Old Walls effect, which is going to be beautiful, neutral shades of gray and then old white cream and a bit of greenish. So they are just lovely. Uh, they are not going to be at Michael's. This is the release, which is independent stores release. So if you're going to check at Michael's, you will be disappointed. They are not going to be there at all. So if you are going to get them, you will get them from your local independent stores or from the stores online. They are um, going to be uh, in the stores next week, maybe in two weeks, depending how far from the United States you are. I know some of the shops in Europe are going to have them probably this weekend or maybe next week. So uh, check it out. I'm sure they are in stores online in the United States uh, already and they're going to be in the local stores, stores any moment now. So you uh, have a chance to have a closer look. This is like the very special just before hitting the shelves. So again, four sets of the rust paste, eight colors of the Opal Magic paints, beautiful. Just to remind you the color palette. Here it is, Opal Magics. And finally, this uh, very exciting set of three art pebbles which are going to rock my life in the next couple of weeks i'm sure so hello thank you thank you for joining and thank you for watching uh, we yes uh, we are very excited about this release and i am very happy to say this is something that i was waiting for for quite a long time look at these babies they are so cute and uh, we are going to have these uh, items in the stores in the next week or two weeks. All of them are based on the formulas that are tested and we were uh, really picking the um, 
well, let's say customers' favorites. So intentionally, I made more colors of the Opal Magics because we had such a great response to that line. And we are also expanding the rust base. I had the best time designing these color sets for you because I can't really wait to use them myself. And when it comes to the pebbles, you know, the pebbles, pretty gems. This time we've got the gem version and they are going to be beautiful and sparkly and they can be in a grungy version if you help them a little bit and they can be in a pretty girly version if you just put them on the project as they are. And I hope that is, it, it is going to be an exciting release for you. Don't forget to check the websites finavar.com where we have tutorials twice a week and the last tutorials uh, they were including the new products already. So Asanda and uh, my um, Kasia and all the uh, design team members, they're going to post the projects with the new products now. At Prima uh, website, you've got beautiful inspirations, uh, including the new products as well. So don't miss that. The easiest way to find that all it is to follow the Instagram accounts because that is the place where we put all of the projects and also we repost your projects if you tag us and let us do it. And the second place here on Facebook, we've got uh, a lot of announcements on Facebook pages. So Finavar Facebook page where you are now. So don't forget to subscribe. And because there may be giveaway coming. And uh, Prima, uh, Prima Facebook page as well. Also, of course, groups Finavar, Open Studio, and uh, Create with Prima. So these are the places to follow. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for joining and you know coming at this uh, release and watching. And tell your friends if they would like to see how to use the new product. I hope this short video was uh, helpful and it's my big, big pleasure to have you all here. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio. Thank you. Sharon for all the help and well if you have any question this is questions this is the right moment to ask